there are three ba basic components in negative pressure. Number one is the pressure, how high or how low it should be set. The second one is the wound filler and understanding the difference pros and cons between the different wound fillers, whether it be black foam, white foam, or AMD cotton gauze. The third component is the mode, about how pressure should be delivered, whether it's continuous or variable. If black foam is selected, one of the optional steps to prevent the ingrowth that goes with black foam is to use a non-contact layer, such as the Derminet. The Derminet AG also offers the silver component for microbial control. Custom cut the Derminet layer and lay it on top of the granulation tissue. Make sure that the non-contact layer stays within the wall or the margin of the wound. For this particular wound, we'll just cut a small section. Try to cut your wound fillers, regardless of whether it's black, white, or cotton, away from the wound surface so that any residual debris or flakes does not go down in the wound. Even though the black foam may appear larger than the wound surface currently, the foams are compressed down into the wound surface area. You don't want the wound filler, for example, to be too small because once the vacuum is implemented, the foam actually ends up being smaller than the surface area of the wound. When using the transparency, the transparency is a pull tab from the center. If you want to cut selections, you need to cut it in strips lengthwise so that you have a pull tab. If you cut horizontally, then you don't have a pull tab from where you cut. Now you can use only half of it and start your application, or you could pull all the way off. To where you can picture exactly where you want to place your transparency. Gently apply your transparency without creating friction over your wound filler. Try to press your grooves first, again, not wanting to create extra friction. Press and then peel away the top carrier piece. Applying the dome application goes directly over the wound filler. We have to create a space for the vacuum or the air to be removed from. By lifting and simply cutting, you have created an open area into the wound filler. The port of the dome will be placed directly over the opening you just created. Pull from the edges on the blue tabs and center your dome directly over the area you just created. Press and seal. And remove the, again the top carrier piece. The blue tabs can be left intact or they can be removed by vertically pulling on the tab. Attach your dome connector to the tubing that goes to the pump. You may want to secure these junctions to prevent the patients from accidentally pulling them apart. You will begin to see the air evacuated from the dressing 
and notice the contraction or compaction of the foam to go down within the wound margins. Another option, depending on your wound location, for example, on the demonstration model here, this is a sacral wound. If the patient was laying on his wound, we would want to offset the dome off to the side or onto a non-bony prominence. Another option that's available to protect the peri wound is to place a template dressing or another transparency down initially over the good skin, cutting out the wound surface area, then doing your dressing application on top of the template that you have built to protect the peri wound.